don't scratch it in public. <laughs> yeah. So, well, I, um, again, we're going kind of loosey goosey today. It's important. Well, let's try to hear some comments because you guys have come a long way. We're at the people's house. Typically, in a subcommittee, we don't even take public testimony. Um, but we're going a little bit more liberal today. So, thank you very much. Bill, would you like to share anything with us? Um, sure. A couple of points. Bill Alleman from where? Um, where? Southwire or nowhere? Uh, <laughs> not nowhere, so where. We're only minutes from nowhere, though. <laughs> um, a, couple of, a couple of points. Um, first of all, regarding uh, the law as it stands right now, my reading of it, yes, it is a two-party state, um, assuming an expectation of privacy to begin with, but even then, there is a distinction made between uh, essentially two party and one party. It's the difference between a felony and a misdemeanor. If you are a party to the conversation, it's a misdemeanor. If one party has agreed in advance, it is a misdemeanor. Except that that's not what the courts are holding. Exactly my point. Exactly, exactly my point. The executive branch and um, their operatives in uniform conveniently choose to ignore the distinction. And what happened this week was a miscarriage of justice, and that is why Lynch should pardon. Yes. The, uh, Please. My other point is that there is no right for employees to hide from their employers when they're on the clock. And in fact, the New Hampshire Constitution expressly states that with regard to government employees, in part first, Article 8, at all times accountable. They can't hide. And it doesn't matter that a public school principal claims that she's not a public employee. She is paid by stolen tax dollars. She works for the people, and she's accountable for them at all times. Um, and I guess that's it. Well, okay, thank you. Representative Delanus? Thank you.